Hi, welcome to Artville at Home. I'm Miss Grams, and today I'd like to share with you one of my favorite books. This is Wind in the Willows, and it's especially good for today because there's two characters in this book, Ratty and Mole. And Ratty says to Mole, there's nothing, absolutely nothing more worth doing than messing about in boats. And today we are gonna mess about in boats. I'm gonna show you how to make at least two kinds of boats. You might invent another kind of a boat. I'm using milk cartons and I'm gonna show you how to make a big boat like this. Or, and you could make two boats if you want, a smaller boat. They're both made out of milk cartons. Um, this one has a sail. They both have sails, different kinds of sails. This one even has a propeller. That was fun to make. So I'm gonna show you how to do the two kinds of boats. Now, you might have other stuff in your recycling. Maybe you're gonna make a boat out of something like this. You can go for it, invent your own boat. The only rule is you've gotta figure out if it will float. You have to be able to float your boat. So to make a big boat, what you have to do, you get a whole milk carton. Um, mine, I'll have this little round thing. You want the round thing. And I have rinsed it out with soap. Now you've got to get a hole through it, okay? You can poke with the scissors like that. And you've got a hole right in there. And then you're gonna cut a hole out of the top like that. It's not super easy, but it's not so hard either. So I cut into it like that. Now I have this piece, it's kind of wet in there. <laughs> I've got this piece that could make a sail like that. I could put it onto a mast. And I have this milk carton I've already cut out. This is just one. Now the thing about milk cartons, it's just a cardboard that's coated with wax. And it happens that this side is very hard to color on, but the inside you can draw and color up. Now this is gonna be my mast. I'm going to attach my sail piece to the mast. I use a stapler for a lot of these things because I found out when you're sailing a boat, tape doesn't stick. So I'm going to put it on like that. And then I have to staple it on like this. Okay, there's my mast. Now you can, before you do that, you can color it. You can draw designs on this part if you want to. It's a very wet. Mine is kind of wet, so I don't think it'll work, but you, if you dry it off, you can color it so that it looks a little more fancy like this one does, okay? But um, this one won't work today for me because it's wet. Okay, so now I have, I've got, I've got a boat. And you can just add more things. You can add propellers. I'll show you how to do that a little bit later. But first I want to show you how to make the small boat, like this one, a smaller boat. And I used a milk carton. I open this part because I've got to open this part like that. And then it's pretty easy to just go in and cut it like this. And you cut down as far as you think you want that little boat to go. Like this. Like that. Like that. So there I have for a small boat. This could be a row boat. Maybe you're going to make rows, oars. Like in the picture of Wind in the Willows, the two characters have oars. So you could take your little carton. Maybe it's going to make an oar for rowing or for paddling a canoe. Maybe it's going to be a canoe. So then you would have an oar here and an oar over here. And then you just need to make somebody in the middle to hold on to them. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to draw a character. Like, I like to have these rabbits, but I have two rabbits already. Valerie, I think we should make a cat, right? So if you wanna make a cat, this is just, again, just a milk carton. You can make a cat. I'm gonna show you how to make a cat so in the arms, well, here's a kitty cat, like that. Oh, he's a little, cats don't like water that much, so he's going to, he's kind of going, oh, he's not sure about this. Now, to make the arms, you're going to make another shape like this. 
kind of like a bell shape and his arms go like that. Okay. There's his paws. And to make it, oh, I did it over this thing. Hmm, I don't know how that's gonna go. His legs are gonna come like that. Okay, so there's a cat. He's not sure if he really likes that. Now, if you're gonna make a dog, Elizabeth, I know you wanna make a dog. So here's my dog. And he's got, he's got his floppy ear dog. The dog is really happy. He likes, he likes, he likes sailing on boats. And this, but the same thing with the arms, like a shape like that. I know it looks a little bit weird, but after you cut it out and put it in your boat, it will be just fine. And I'm going to put his legs down there. He's going to be sort of a pop-up, so the legs are not super important. They won't show. And now, at this point, you could color them too. Um, I'm not going to take the time to do all the coloring because I want to get you to your own project as soon as possible. But you can color them because like I colored the other ones. So to make them, you're gonna cut it out. The cutting is important because you're gonna cut animal. Now, I, the reason I think I love Wind in the Will, I think all my best ideas come from Wind in the Willows because of the wonderful characters, the animal characters. So here we go. And, and now the arms. See, the arms are like, I made them like that. I'm just going to cut a line there and cut a line there. And now the arms kind of move like that. And you can make the character so. He's a little bit big for this boy. But there. He'll, he'll hook over the side like this. Like, oh, no, don't fall out. And um, if you want him to be oaring, rowing, you can attach the rows, the, the rowboats, staple to his paws like that and he can be rowing he's rowing his boat sort of like that so then you can just kind of get him in there and he's rowing the boat okay like that and you would also you could make a sail too did i show you how to make a sail so you have to to make a sailboat you just would cut now i like this one with a circle um, this boat had a crow's nest on the, on the, it's like a crow's nest. You can make a crow on there. Um, it also just makes a good mast. And to make the sail, you need a triangle usually. And you can just cut a triangle like that. And then you would staple it to your mast. Okay. Sort of like that. Okay, now you have a with a mask just takes a few staples and then you can get it onto your boat okay like that okay now I did want to show you how to make a propeller a propeller you have to cut pieces like this just a number of pieces like that however many you want maybe I'll just do a two propeller thing now the, the easiest way I found to make you need these twangers, a box of twangers like this. And if you have one of these gadgets, it's a great, it's a stapler remover, but it makes an excellent little hole for a propeller. And you can put that, I'm going to attach it, maybe I'll attach it to the top of my, you can put it anywhere you want. Well, I don't think that's very good. Maybe it's going to be somehow on your boat. But then you just get your twanger. You poke your twanger through one of those holes. There you have a little propeller. Well, maybe it should go there. I think that looks good. I'll put a hole there. Okay. Now, I've got my propeller on my rowboat and a sail. I think that boat is going to go far. So I hope you have a lot of fun floating your boats. Take them out to the water. Find a bathtub or a puddle or a pond somewhere safe. And you can see what happens when you put them in the water. If you make two with your cousins or your brother or your sister, you can have boat races. Send me a picture. I would love that. Okay? Have so much fun. Bye.
Hi everybody, this is Miss Grams. We brought our Phil outside to try out our boats. And I've got my granddaughters Naya and Ivy and they each have one of the boats. And we're gonna just see what happens. We've got kind of a funny place here to sail them. So Naya and Ivy, take your boats. Let's get started. Let's take it away. Can you come forward a little bit, Mr. Bobby, and see if we can get this boat action here. They both decided they want the big boats. Because so they're floating their boats. Whoa, they're going pretty good, I'd say. Um, hey, Naya, Ivy. Naya, Ivy, can you come back this way with them? Oh, no. Doggy. Dog overboard. Bring him back this way. It was sinking. Bring him back this way. It was sinking. Oh, no. balance problem on that boat. Here, maybe we need a rabbit. Let's try a rabbit on the other side here. Sometimes we need these characters for balance. Let's see if, now try again, Ivy. Wait, yeah. can I have a balance? Okay. We need balance. Okay, we've got the rowing cat. Okay, the rowboat cat. Okay, try it again, guys. Well, anyway, um, I hope you have so much fun floating your boat. Nye and Ivy are going to take it away. Keep going, kids. Okay. Bye. Bye. Have fun floating your boats. No, it's we can't. Jack, your boat. What happened to your boat? Jack, your boat. Oh, no. Your boat fell overboard. Poke your boat. Poke the boat. <laughs> oh, you've got a puppy on your boat. Is that puddles on your boat, Jack? Puddles on your boat? There, it's floating. Push the boat. Can you push it like this? Whee! Whee! 